Shalom family trendsetter, all praises be to the most high. I'm driving so you will hear some noise in the background. Please bear with me. Now this would be a part two in regards to the last video that I made explaining to y'all with scriptures and verses, both old and new, showing y'all, telling y'all who Lucifer really is, or I should say who Jesus Christ really is. Now, I know it is hard to believe that, you know, this so-called savior who really ain't saving nobody is an entity called Lucifer. Because, you know, a lot of y'all Christians say, and you Hebrew Christians as well say, y'all read the Bible and y'all believe in the Bible and the Bible is in the word of God, which is a lie, right? And then when you show them, you literally show them in the scriptures, in the book, they try to say, well, you know, that's not what it really means. No, that's what it says. Even when Jesus Christ says, right? Or oh, that's what they alleged Jesus Christ said. He did not come to bring peace on earth. He did not come to bring peace, but a sword, right? To turn mothers against father. I showed y'all videos. I showed y'all scripture verses where he said that shit. It's in the Bible. Matter of fact, here you go, right? And you have this man's claiming that he did not come to bring peace on earth. This is what he, they alleged that he said. And then when you show them this shit, they try to uh, Christianize it, spiritualize it. Well, that's not what it meant. No, that's what he said. How do you know that's not what it means? Did he tell you? No, that's not what I really meant. No, that's what it says. And then you have in the Old Testament where the Most High said to honor your father and your mother. So you, you're honoring your father and your mother. But here you have Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, telling you he did not come to bring peace on earth, but to bring a sword. Now, we know what a sword represent. A sword represent death. A sword represent destruction. You don't bring a sword for peace. You bring a sword in a time of war. You know what I'm saying? And what that Bible reference is telling you that Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, is actually bringing a sword to the Most High people, right? To literally destroy the Most High people. Now, is it a literal sword? It could be a metaphor, right? About a parable and shit, right? They'd like to say Jesus spoke in parable. But either way, it's telling you that he did not come to bring peace on earth, but to bring a sword. Now, didn't they say Jesus is the Prince of Peace? You see how they can contradict the infallible word of God, right? Isn't he the Prince of Peace? So how the fuck he's the Prince of Peace in one scripture, but now he's not bringing peace. He's coming to bring a sword and bring division. And if you really think about it, right, Christianity, as well as other religion, have literally bring division. Because let's say you're a Christian and you, you know, one of your family members is a Baptist and the other one is a Mormon or the other one might be a Pentecostal, even though they believe in the same entity, Lucifer, because Lucifer could, could care less how y'all fight over him, how y'all going to worship him. He don't give a shit. At the end of the day, all he wants is worship because he did tell you in Isaiah that he's going to be like the most high, right? And, and, and pretty much they have literally given him that attribute of the most high. And I'm going to show y'all towards the end of this video. Keep watching where you have these heathen out of their own mouth telling you who God really is. They said Jesus Christ is the true and living God, right? They said Jesus Christ is the true God. So which means that the most High, the creator is no longer God. The creation have become God. And that is Lucifer because Lucifer is the son of God. The most High created him and he said he's going to be like the most High. So now they have literally taken away the, the, the power and the glory from the most High and gave it to Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Lucifer. And a lot of y'all just don't understand how deep this shit is. Everywhere you go, where you see churches with crosses on it, right? Because a cross represents an instrument of death. Over there in Brazil, over Rio de Janeiro, they have this huge statue of so-called Jesus Christ. Over in Rio de Janeiro, overseeing Rio de Janeiro. And do you know how much crime and poverty is in that area? Because the Bible says, curses is a man that hang on a tree. It tells you, I showed you our scriptures in verse. So if Jesus is a curse, of course, anywhere he presents himself, is he's going to bring a curse over into your life. This is why when you wear these crucifix on your neck, it's not protecting you. What is it doing? I see a lot of Catholics with that shit on, on their neck from South America, right? And they are fucking dying from gang-related crimes and shit. How is that shit protecting you? Jesus Christ is Lucifer, family. I'm telling you. Lucifer said he was going to get the same kind of worship like the Mosai. 
So I want y'all to understand, family, we have been lied to. We have been duped into worshiping another God. So stay tuned and watch this quick, quick video to show you what I'm talking about, that they are worshiping Jesus Christ as God. Okay? It doesn't make sense to me why I continue to of do the this. gospel message. Gone are the days when godly men and women sang praise and worship songs to God, adoring and exalting the name of the one true God, Jesus Christ.